Hi, I'm Andy Heath from the Learning Centre at JCU. Today I'm going to show you how you can make sure you haven't accidentally plagiarised anything before you submit it. You can now use Learn JCU Ultra to get something called an originality report on a draft before you submit it. I'm going to show you what an originality report is, how to get one, and how to interpret it when you've got one. First of all, what is an originality report? An originality report simply takes the essay that you've written, or whatever it is that you've written, and it compares it to a huge database of journal articles, essays by other students, websites, and it finds matches between those things and flags them for a marker to look at. That's all it does. It doesn't give you any advice on structure or content or grammar or anything like that. And if you do want something like that, it's best to visit the peer advice desk or Studiosity out of hours. Okay, let's have a look at how you can get your originality report. So let's say I have a draft. I'm pretty confident that it's finished, but I want to make sure that there's no plagiarism in there, that nothing weird is going to show up when the person marks it. So I go into my subject site and learn JCU Ultra. There should be a folder in there called assessment. I click on that and somewhere in there, two down in here, is draft submission originality report. I click on that and this bar comes in from the right hand side and I choose view assessment. Then add content and then I click on this little circle with a, with a plus in it here that says insert content. Now you might be inserting something from uh, cloud storage if you use OneDrive or web content but mine is a local file. I've got it saved on a USB stick that's plugged into this computer. So I choose that and I find my USB drive here and it's a nursing essay, BM 1022, understanding the ethical implications. So I click on that. I just choose save for the file settings here. I don't wanna change the name because that's just gonna make it confusing if I give it a different name. It appears here, that's the final draft. I wanna make sure there's no plagiarism. Click on submit in the bottom right. Now Safer Sign starts doing its magic and doing its um, checking for matches. I choose submit again here. It's warning me that I can't edit it after I've submitted, but I, I don't wanna edit it because it's my final draft anyway. So I've submitted it. Safer Sign can take a while, up to two or three hours to check against the huge database. So I submitted exactly the same essay earlier on today so that I'd have something ready to show you now. So when you want to come back and see if it's finished um, being checked, you click on this attempts thing here. I submitted seven because uh, I've been preparing a lot for this video and messing up a lot. Um, attempt five is the one I submitted earlier on today, a copy of the same essay that I just submitted for you now. So I click on that and up it comes. And the first thing that jumps out as you, at you is it's marked high risk and there's an 81% match. But don't panic. I'm pretty sure that I didn't copy anything in this essay. I'm pretty sure I haven't plagiarized. So let's have a look at the originality report. Click on this gray bar here and see what these actual 81% of matches are. So the title has come up three times. Um, the name of my subject, the name of my teacher, the time of the workshop. That's no surprise that that's come up. Maybe a thousand students across two campuses have submitted the same essay at the same time. So yes, there's a match, but is this plagiarism? No, of course not. Next, scrolling down, again, something's highlighted, but this is an in-text citation. Um, maybe this is a, a journal article that's highly relevant to the essay and a lot of people have used it. It might even be a set reading that everybody has to use. So of course that's gonna show up. Is it me trying to plagiarize someone else's ideas and pass them off as my own? No, it's not. Further down still, here we have a whole sentence that's lit up. This looks a bit more worrying. But again, when you look at it closely, I've got quotation marks around this sentence. I've got a citation at the end. So this is a direct quote from a journal article. Naturally, being a direct quote, it matches the journal article word for word. But am I pretending it's my own work? No, it's clearly a direct quotation with a citation afterwards. So again, still no plagiarism. Further down, here are the real fireworks. I did a lot of research for this essay. And my reference list is lit up like a Christmas tree. Again, is that plagiarism? No. These um, 
journal articles and book chapters will appear in the Safe Assign database in their original form. Every time someone else references them, they'll appear again. Every time a student uses them in an essay, they'll appear again. Am I trying to plagiarize here? Am I passing anything off as my own ideas uh, without fair attribution? No, definitely not. So that shows you how misleading this number and the red mark can be and why it's important to look at the originality report in detail to see if you've actually plagiarized something or not. Unless you have a large block of text that's highlighted in the body of your essay that doesn't have a citation afterwards, that doesn't have um, quotation marks around it, then you haven't plagiarized. Basically, safer sign is um, it's it's just a tool. All it does is look for matches and highlight them. Your marker will go in and decide whether or not you've plagiarized. So that pretty much covers uh, what an originality report is, how to get one, and how to interpret it. If you do want any more information about plagiarism, what it is, how to avoid it, it's available on the Learning Center website. If I go to the James Cook website and then students homepage. The Learning Center tile is here, and here is an Academic Integrity tile, which contains some really useful videos and further resources about plagiarism and academic integrity. Um, if you want to talk to someone face-to-face -face or directly, you can either, if you're on campus, go to the Peer Advice Desk, or in the bottom right here of the Learning Center page, you can use the Contact Us tab. This is great if you're an external student, but internal students can use it as well. You just fill in all your information, hit submit, and someone will get in touch with you by phone or email. And if you want to have a longer chat, you can arrange to have a Skype conversation, a Zoom conversation, or ask someone to call your mobile or your landline number at a time that's convenient for you. Well, I hope that's been useful to you. Best of luck with your assignments and your essays. If you do have any further questions, get in touch with the Learning Center and we'll do everything we can to help you and to answer your questions. All the best for now. Bye.